Well, the thing is, everybody understands that BMO Harris is a great institution. So in today's conversation, I want to do a comparative analysis of some of the credit cards that this great bank offers. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's discussion, I want to compare and contrast some BMO Harris credit cards. So we have the BMO Harris Bank Platinum Rewards MasterCard, the Cashback MasterCard, and the Premium Rewards MasterCard as well as the Platinum MasterCard. It's really important to understand that the BMO Harris is one of the largest banks in the United States. They have more than 600 branches, so if you get a credit card from them, you are certainly in good hands. They also have, uh, they, they also uh, operates in uh, a few select states, but the thing is that if you want to have a credit card with them, you don't have to live in those uh, few states. So they are in Arizona, Illinois, Indiana, Florida, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, and Wisconsin. The geographical uh, limitation is important when it comes to loans and lines of credit, but when it comes to credit cards, you can live anywhere in the, in the States and there shouldn't be no problem. One thing we want to say here is that they provide several credit cards for personal use and for small businesses, and chances are you're going to find a card that uh, will, uh, will, will fit your spending patterns and your situation. And we love the fact that when you think about BMO Harris's uh, credit cards, you have zero for liability, you have the MasterCard Global Service, you have ID theft protection, wonderful. They also have a few rewards that we love. They have uh, the Shop Runner uh, program, they have the MasterCard Luxury Hotel Collection, and they have cell phone protection. And when we think about the those credit cards I'll be talking to you today about, the application criteria are pretty clear. So your FACO should be between 650 and 850. However, if you have an MPR, you have a relationship with the bank, a multi-product relationship with the bank, you can actually uh, be approved with a FICO as low as 550. Your income should be at least $18,000 per year. We are speaking here about pre-tax income, $18,000, that's 1500 per month. And you gotta have verifiable income, okay? They want to. They need to verify that, and your DTI, your debt to income ratio, should be thirty five percent or less, and your CUR, your credit utilization ratio, should be thirty eight percent maximum. Before I get into the actual review, please check out this video. We do have a, a strong methodology on this show when it comes to reviewing, categorizing, and listing credit cards on this show. Check this out. <music> Let me talk to you about the BMO Harris Bank Premium Rewards MasterCard. This is a great card that comes with a sign-up bonus. We have 15,000 bonus points after spending $2,500 in the first three months. Okay, this is worth approximately $150. And the rewards, we have three points per dollar spent on dining, hotels, and airfare up to $2,500 in combined category spending. This is really important. So you have one point per dollar spent on all other purchases, and you have a 15% anniversary bonus point each year so when you think about travel benefits you have a constellation of benefits including the priority pass select membership and complimentary airport lounge access for card holder 24 7 concierge services you have a curated ex curated experience th uh, experiences through mastercard's priceless program and let's talk about the apr here you have zero percent apr on balance transfers for 12 months from account opening and zero percent on purchases for six months from account opening this is really decent okay in the regular apr 15.24 all the way to 23.24 percent no foreign transaction fees and balance transfer no fees on balance transfer uh, fees for some accounts 
but there are some cash advances 3% of uh, 3% of the cash advance and one thing I want to say here is that there is an annual fee that is $79 and that's waived the first year so one thing you need to understand and if you think about this BMO Harris uh, bank premium rewards mastercard i want you to think about the fact that you have several ways of uh, earning rewards and you can redeem your accumulated points for a wide variety of items including general general merchandise hotel stays cruises vacation packages gift cards general merchandise and statement credits okay redemptions are made through the bmo harris rewards.com website and so this is really this is the kind of thinking you need to have and there are something that there is something that you need to also think about the uh, the card has additional benefits so those are nine travel benefits but they are also important so you have extended warranties of up to 24 months on items with original warranties of less than 24 months you have price protection in other words you have a reimbursement of the difference between a higher purchase price and a lower advertised price on purchased items for 120 days after purchase and you have purchase assurance which covers loss or damage to purchased items for 90 days from purchase so this is those are really cool and in terms of uh, you know this and this is a great credit card credit card credit card credit card this is a great credit card you do have a lot of pros and cons here you have uh, flexible rewards redemption options nice airport lounge benefits no foreign transaction fee you have a solid sign up bonus and what about the cons here it has the card has an annual fee I've already said that and rewards are not especially valuable at redemption the $2,500 combined quarterly spending cap in 3x categories okay and there is no point transfer option let me talk to you about the BMO Harris Bank cash back MasterCard folks we are still having a comparative analysis of four credit cards from uh, BMO Harris so with this card you have a sign-up bonus of $100 cash back after you spend $1,000 in purchases in the first three months. This is kind of cool. If you really, if you really were to ask me, this is really is cool. And the rewards, the 2% cash back on gas and grocery purchases. And this is up to, what, $2,500 in combined category spending. And after that, you have unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases. And you do have a, a constellation of benefits when you think about this card. You have curated experiences through MasterCard's priceless program. And uh, you do have a, an intro APR on balance transfers for 12 months from account opening and 0% APR on purchases for six months from account opening. Okay. And the regular APR will oscillate from 13.15.24% to 23.24%. Again, those uh, APRs are decent when you think about the benefits you are getting from the card versus the fees. And the fees you have foreign transaction fee of 3% of the transaction amount balance transfers and uh, cash advances three percent of the transaction amount ten dollar minimum and there is no annual fee okay this is really good and um so let's talk about some key features what would you love on this card money 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 this card is uh, helping you earn cash this is really good really really good so the key features you have a sign up bonus you earn cash back okay so you earn two percent cash back on gas and groceries up to a combined $2,500 in eligible spending per calendar year. This is really good. And all other spending, including spending in the 2% categories above the $2,500 quarterly cap, earns unlimited 1.5 uh, 1% back. So you can redeem uh, you can redeem your cash back for statement credits in $5 increments starting at a $15 redemption minimum. And the, there are no important fees and we love the fact that you still are part of the master the mastercard priceless cds program this is really wonderful and what about the pros and cons of this card the pros no annual fee we love that you have an easily attainable sign up bonus this is really good also you have an introductory purchase and balance transfer apr promotions this is really good i mean we have seen other cars that have they have more than 12 months promotional period but the 12 month is kind of cool too i mean especially if you are a bimo harris um bimo harris customers and you're interested in their credit cards this is really good they have solid value added benefits and no penalty apr what about the cons here you have two percent earnings capped at twenty five hundred dollars in combined quarterly spending 
you have a, some kind of mediocre cashback earnings in all other spending categories this is just one percent okay and you have fifteen dollars minimum redemption threshold and the card does have a foreign transaction fee let me talk to you now about the BMO Harris Bank Platinum Rewards MasterCard. So when you think about the Platinum Rewards MasterCard, you want to think about, um, they do have a sign-up bonus that we love, 10,000 bonus points after you spend $1,000 in purchases, okay, in the first three months. And this is worth approximately, according to our calculation, $100. And in terms of rewards, you have a two points per dollar spent on eligible gas and groceries purchases up to $2,500 in combined category spending, one point per dollar spent on all other purchases, and 10% anniversary bonus points every year. And uh, intro APR, you have 0% on balance transfers for 12 months, and 0% APR on purchases for six months from account opening. And the regular APR ranges from 15.24 to 23.24%, and uh, there are there are fees so you have foreign transaction fees and you have balance transfer fees and cash advance fees okay and and th there is no there's a no there is no an annual fee on this card so credit card credit card credit card let's think about let's look at the key features that you will love on this card we love the fact that you have a sign up bonus okay you can earn rewards okay when you spend on on gas and groceries and uh, up to a twenty five hundred twenty five hundred dollars per calendar year i've already said that and all other spending, including spending in the two points per dollar categories above the 2500 quarterly cap, earns unlimited one points per dollar spend. You can redeem rewards, no problem, on a diverse lineup of items, including hotel stays, cruises, vacation packages, gift cards, general merchandise, and statement credits. Okay, you have to go through the BMO Harris Rewards website, though, okay? And you have anniversary point bonus. You have uh, what we love is you have some Mastercard travel benefits. Okay, the loss of uh, the loss or damaged luggage insurance, roadside assistance for stranded drivers. Okay, you have complimentary loss and damage coverage on rental cars charging full to your card, and you have also the Mastercard Priceless Cities program. Wonderful. What about the pros and cons here? When you think about this card, I want you to. Uh, this is a takeaway I want you to think about. Pros: no annual fee, flexible redemption options. 10% boost to point earnings each year. You have a decent balance transfer candidates here in this card. Solid sign up bonus. What about the cons? The rewards have subpar redemption value based on our analysis. The $2,500 combined quarterly spending caps in 2x categories. This card has a foreign transaction fee and there is no point transfer option. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Suda Kiwi Show. We are still having a comparative analysis of uh, four BMO Harris banks, banks credit cards here. And uh, I want to talk to you now about the BMO Harris Bank Platinum MasterCard. This card has no sign-up bonus and no rewards attached to it. In terms of benefits, you have access to special events and experiences via MasterCard, Priceless Cities, and the program, and uh, you have a 0% intro APR for 15 months on balance transfers and on purchases you have six months and the regular APR goes from 13.24 percent to 20.24 percent and there there are foreign transaction fees balance transfer fees and cash advance fees okay and one thing I want to say here is that this is a great card in terms of uh, the benefits it is not a flashy travel credit card however the uh, if you're seeking a cost-effective way to pay down the high interest balances you have racked up on another credit card, this should be high on your list of, of uh, contenders. Why? Because of the 15 of uh, the 0% intro APR for 15 months on balance transfers. Okay, 15 months. So, money, money, money. How does this card help you save money or make money? First, you have the introductory APR promotion. Okay, I've already said that. You also have the fact that you are part of the MasterCard Priceless Cities. So, you, you have a uh, you, you, you do have access to uh, special adventures, 
one of a kind experiences, shopping and dining benefits, the best shows and sporting events, hotel upgrades and small perks that make your city adventures more special. Okay, you one thing we love is that this, the card has some pros and a lot of has a lot of pros rather and a few cons. Okay, let's talk about those. So the advantages. You have a no annual fee card. This is really good. You have a solid intro balance transfer APR promotion. 15 months. This is really cool. 15 months. You have curated experiences through MasterCard Priceless Cities program. You have a nice constellation of value added benefits. And there is no penalty APR. What about the cons? No rewards or, or cashback. This is something that we, you have to think about because this card has a a 15 a zero percent intro APR for 15 months but no rewards or cashback no sign up bonus the intro purchase APR promotion leaves something to be desired when you really think about it okay because it lasts just six months there is no break on balance transfer fees okay and uh, this card has a foreign transaction fee three percent so this could be a disadvantage for international travelers or those folks who are shopping on foreign websites <music> So here is the decision, okay? So BMO Harris Bank Platinum Rewards MasterCard versus the Cashback MasterCard versus the Premium Rewards MasterCard versus the Platinum MasterCard. Which one to pick? That's the big question, right? It really depends on a lot of things. It depends on, first of all, your situation. It depends on uh, your family situation, your budget, your spending patterns, the categories that you, you want to target when it comes to those cards. It depends on your relationship with the BMO Harris. Do you currently have a relationship with the bank? Do you have a checking account, savings account? Do you have some kind of a debt accounts with them? Because it could be asset accounts or debt accounts. So when you think about the premium rewards MasterCard, you think about a card that shares plenty in common with better known travel cards such as City Thank You Premier and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. It has a tiered point earning system that rewards spending in discretionary categories, a broad set of redemption options that include travel and general merchandise, and some truly generous travel benefits. So you have to think about that. And uh, for the uh, the cashback MasterCard, this is kind of similar to the Bank America card cash rewards credit card. Okay, and um, w w you have to think about whether or not you are you want to go for the one hundred dollars sign up bonus, and also you have. You are interested in interest-free purchases and balance transfers to new card holders and if you are a casual traveler looking to turn points earned on everyday gas and grocery spending into a free flight or a hotel night you probably won't notice or care about the bimo harris platinum rewards mastercard drawbacks right this is something you need to think about because after all this card has no annual fee there is little downside to keeping this card in your wallet even if you use it rarely or in spurts Okay, so those are things you need to think about. And uh, what about the BMO Harris Bank Platinum MasterCard? Well, this card is pretty simple. However, and this is a big however, you do have to think about the 0% balance transfer APR for 15 months. So if you are in a situation where you want to transfer, uh, you you have a high interest credit card or you have high interest balances on, a, on other credit cards and you're interested in uh, taking advantage of a uh, of this offer this could be a great card for you the only thing is please remember there is a three percent balance transfer fee attached to this card so at the end of the day does it really make sense to transfer that much money you you, you will need to see which one works for you all right folks our pick after analyzing those four players those four credit cards our pick is the uh, bimo harris premium rewards mastercard we have rated this uh card 9.5 over 10 the cashback card 9 over 10 the platinum rewards card 9 over 10 and the and the platinum card 8.5 over 10 thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous